Okay, now that we're this far, I'm going to use a palette knife. I'm going to scrape in, since we already have the liquid white on there, we take this, we scrape in some tr tree, trees, trunks, branches. Hope you can see that. Coming right up. Oh, just all over, just here and there, there and here. Make some little ones here, there, coming all the way up, here and there. Otherwise, you have to use a liner brush, and it could take you too long to do that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use a palette knife with a little bit of white, a little bit of white on there to highlight, highlight the path, just barely, just barely tapping it, barely tapping the path, just to give it some rocky, rocky look to it where the light might be hitting it from the angles. Then we're going to use some more green. And we're going to bring this out here. Well, maybe a little bit more. Just going to bring it out just a little bit more. In this area. Just keep on here bring it out I don't know if I want to put some I'm gonna put some smaller evergreen trees in right here I think just smaller ones just tapping it down straight down maybe one here one there maybe a bigger one here now once you do that you're gonna take the corner of the brush just tap it. The harder you tap, you tap harder towards the bottom of the tree. Just keep tapping all the way down. Hope you can see that from wherever you're at. Add some more color. Come over here and do the same thing. Barely tapping. Turn the brush over. Tap. Tap a little harder as you come down towards the bottom of the tree. You get all the little things happening here. Now you come up here and you tap. Same thing. Little back and forth strokes. Until you fill it all in. Just like that. Now I'm going to come in up here a little bit because you got some little bit of shading hanging down. Get some branches coming. Just some little ones popping. Same, same thing on this side. There and there, here and there. Just like that. Now we'll come back in. We'll do a little bit more highlighting. Where I think, just to make it pop a little more. Tapping, tapping. Just keep tapping. Now 
Now you got everything happening. Coming through. Now all I gotta do is highlight some trees. But I'm not gonna highlight it too much because you ain't gonna see that much back here from that angle. Use some yellow ochre, cadmium yellow, different kinds of browns. This may be where the sun is hitting, here and there. Here and there, and there and here. Maybe it's more on this side here because of the light source, so I'm loading up some titanium white on a two inch brush. not really see that at home because it's just barely just barely highlighting maybe some right here all right some light is just bouncing off of it here and there and there and here maybe over here like I said there's more because of the sun it's coming from this angle more kind of popping off that side okay it looks like that it's a finished painting what I do is I take my liner brush load up some liquid clear paint thinner now I'll go on with a lighter color that I used that always shows up nicer when you're gonna sign it you want to sign your paintings and I've been putting the year on mine, what year it was painted. I signed mine in the bottom corner here. I use my last name. Some people use their initials. It's kind of whatever, whatever you like. I like using the lighter colors. Kind of shows up, but you want the you want the color to be consistency of almost like ink. We like can ink because it goes on with all the paint that you put on already. It goes on a lot better. Well, I hope you enjoyed this painting, and I hope you come back and visit me. I'll be coming up with some different ones, different thoughts and ideas, and uh, different things that will make things a little bit more different. So, I hope you come back and see me, and have a wonderful day. Bye.